show you how to do a disappearing loop cast on. So just start with your usual slip knot, however you like to make it. I tend to do a loop like this and then just pull the working yarn through that loop and stick it onto the needle. So you've got your slip knot on your needle, then you need to do a backwards loop. So just twist the yarn like that so the tail, the tail end is underneath and the ball yarn is on top and then just pop it onto your needle. So depending on what your pattern says, you can cast on the number of stitches that you need. So we're going to work into this, this backward loop for all of these. So I'm going to cast on eight. So I'm going to knit my first one and then do a yarn over. So bring the yarn between the needles and over the right hand needle. So that's my second stitch. Knit my third, yarn over my fourth, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have eight stitches here. My last one is a yarn over, so you need to make sure that stays there when you're doing this. Your backward loop and your slip knot are still on your left hand needle. You can now just remove the left hand needle from those stitches. And if you give that a little pull, the slip knot comes out and it tightens up that loop. So this is your cast on. So normally you're doing this because you're working in the round. So I'm going to slide it to the other end of my needle. And depending what your first row is, most of the time you'll find it'll be just be knit. So I'm going to knit all these stitches. So I'm making sure that that yarn over is still over that needle. So I've still got eight loops on there. And I'm going to start working at the other end, but I'm going to split off for my needles. So I'm doing magic loops, so I'm going to split them in half. But if you wanted to use DPNs or anything like that, then you can just split them how you how you would like them. So I'm going to knit to halfway for magic loop. So I've knit, so I've got four on the right, four on the left. And now I'm just going to start working in magic loop. So I'm going to pull this needle out. So if you want DPNs at this point, change to another needle. And I'm going to knit those final four. And now I'm in the round. So now I'm in the round for my magic loop. I've got my disappearing loop cast on. It will open and close. You just need to, when you've got a bit more fabric, darn that end in. And you've got a nice, neat disappearing loop cast on. Great for centre out starts. Mm -hmm.